Italia fuera lo a Bologna. Do you speak watercolor in Bologna? Unbelievable, but now that I'm working on this video, it's almost one week ago that the uh, festival Fabriano in Acquarello 2023 started in Bologna for the public. So the, the Sunday, April 23, started with a plain air painting on the Piazza Maggiore, and this was a great chance to, to meet beside the country leaders, all the other painters that arrived in Bologna this day for the festival. So you see, there was a lot of happy people coming together and I did really enjoy this. To meet more friends from all over the world and uh, yeah, the, just the place was so inspiring and then all these friendly and happy people just coming together it was just great so this was uh, in the morning and now we jump in the evening to the Piazza Isolani where the great opening was going to happen at 6 p.m. So the city was pretty crowded all the time because um, there was the Independent Day coming up and there was a music festival in the city. So here you see me with my friends before the opening started. There's Ida Tentolini who I met there for the first time in life. We are good friends on Facebook. Giovanni! Wonderful. And the next generation of country leaders, I guess. So just look at this location. It's just amazing. And this was in, inside the Piazza Isolani. There's Anna Pacelli from our German team. It's good. And they did prepare such a nice evening there as an opening for the festival. All this careers. And it was so nice to, to meet all these people again or even for the first time after uh, just knowing them from the internet. There's Timo Becher, which is one of the really young and great talents from Germany. And look at this location, it was just amazing. Really great. The ladies from Australia there. Yeah, and it was becoming really crowded inside this palace. I think there's some guy from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Jerome. Me with Ida Tentolini. She did a really great demo there. Angelo Gallini and Sabine from Germany and Hani from the Netherlands oh, and my good friend Aiden and Julia Kosciatova and Aiden again and the other girls from the Ukraine it was really wonderful and there Timo again and now we jump to the night after the great opening 
and uh, of course we were a few people who couldn't get enough of my friend Pierre. <laughs> Yeah, and when I left there, walking through the empty streets of Bologna, I still had these memories. It's so good to come together with people who, who have the, the same idea about life and living together and being just a great community. Yeah, the next day I wanted to go to the opening of the exhibition, of course, and look at these palace. So there's the entrance to the exhibition, and one second, and then we go inside. And this was really overwhelming. More than two, uh, sorry, more than 1,200 watercolors from all over the world. I think from more than 80 countries. Really amazing, really overwhelming. Of course, as a country leader from Germany, first I had to check is every artist from from our community there and there you see the watercolors from germany and so here you see the great place for the whole exhibition and it was really overwhelming here are the smaller works from Germany because this year for the first time we had two formats. Yeah, and now I'm just going through the place. Um, because it would be... Oh, there's Amma from Iraq. So who's the Iranian leader? <laughs> He's going to show me his watercolor work later. Here we have some nice hair. Would be good for brushes, maybe. Yeah, so it's really, it was really overwhelming to see all these great watercolors in one place. So I can only give you an impression of the exhibition because it would lead too far to, to show every single of these 1,200 watercolors I have to study the catalog so there was a place where you could just sit and uh, watch the watercolors on the on the big screen Isn't it amazing, all these beautiful works from all over the world and so different. So my friend Dieter from Germany, Dieter Wistem, uh, he did a video of um, just the faces, just the portraits. can see it on his um, YouTube channel and I think I've posted it on in the Do You Speak Watercolor group too
I recommend to have a look at the catalog. This is really amazing. There's Yulia Koshetova from the Ukraine. I know her from her step by step festival, which was really great. And now Amar from Iraq is showing me his work, which is really beautiful. Okay, but now let's go a little bit further. Now look at this guy from India, he was really great. So I guess this ball, it's not watercolor. I think it belongs to this place. And there's Angela Barbie from Spain, from EPC Art Courses. I think she was doing a live stream there. Yeah. I wanted to, to see the demo of Jérôme Goy from France, who is in our Do You Speak Watercolor group, and I always thought, wow, wow what a great artist. And he told me that it was his first international demo. So I think he was really nervous a little bit, but there was no, no reason for it because he's such a great artist. And he did a wonderful demo for the woman in Iran. That was really emotional for me. I, I had tears in my eyes while he was painting and, and even after the, the demo I, I just had to leave the place because I, it was so emotional because uh, I'm so sad that it has that it is necessary to remind about women that that are so suppressed by their own country leaders. This is awful. But he did such a great job and this this is before the demo started. So Anna Masinisa was introducing him. Oh my friend. More friends. <laughs> Yeah, the, the program was uh, really, really, really full. So here we go to the long paper, plein air painting. Our friend Pierre was uh, preparing and, and uh, yeah, there, there he is with a big paper roll, Fabriano paper. And the, the painting, the, the long painting, was organized by Oldis Corrida and Mona Omrani this year, and they did such a great job. So here's still the preparation, and you see we, we were at the Neptune's fountain. But one roll of paper wasn't even enough for all the painters who wanted to, to participate there. There's Anna, Mona, preparing. And oh, I just thought it, it would be better to, to get some sun protection, which was really good because it was really a sunny day and uh, yeah almost summer so here you see Anna introducing these great guys
for me it's always amazing to see so much happy people just being together and following our passion of watercolor painting. It's, it's really overwhelming me. Even when I see these pictures one one week later, so So now they decided to start with the second roll of paper. So this year it was a double long painting. This long painting is a, it's always a highlight of Papri Hanan Aquarello because all of this festival is about being together without competition just for friendship and peace and our love for watercolor. Anna, you're still alive. beautiful flowers there I think this is just amazing and of course there, there have been a lot of other demos inside so here, here you see a few samples Isn't 
is wonderful. You you can, if you come to Fabriano one day, you 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 can see all of these beautiful painters live. But of course, for me, it was really special to be the host for the Do You Speak Watercolor Nights. You can see in the in another video, but here's just a short outtake. And it was a pleasure to to finish the festival with one of these happenings, just painting together with music and these wonderful people. So if you would like to present your art, do you speak watercolor, you are welcome. Just fill your questionnaire, send some samples of your artwork in watercolor and a good portrait and you are welcome in the group. Just let's have fun together with watercolor. Thank you for watching.